All right, thanks for watching. And in this video, I want to give you a neat Legend of Zelda analogy of the process of diagonalization. So, if you recall, in a previous video I did, I took the matrix A and I found the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So I found that the eigenvalues are 3 and 5, and the corresponding eigenvectors are 1 minus 2, and 1 minus 1, again, up to multiples. First of all, I'm actually claiming that this means that A equals to PDP inverse, where D is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues, and P is the corresponding matrix of eigenvectors. So 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1. And why is that true? It actually follows from a nice calculation. Okay. So let's just calculate, let's just calculus, let's just calculate AP, like the AP exam. Well, what is AP? That's A of 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1. And one nice thing about matrix multiplication is that it's enough to just multiply each column by A. So this is actually the same thing as A of 1 minus 2, A of 1 minus 1. But now, by definition of eigenvalue, or eigenvector, this just means that A applied to this eigenvector, it's three times the eigenvector, and A applied to one minus one, it's five times one minus one. Okay. That's one thing, and then the next thing is, now look at this, you kind of multiply each column by a number, and column multiplication is actually the same thing as right multiplication by a diagonal matrix. So this is the same as 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1, 3, 0, 0, 5. You can check it algebraically, but the cool thing is if you left multiply by a diagonal matrix, it multiplies the rows. If you write multiply, it multiplies the columns. And this is just the same thing as PD. So it's the AP police department. And so, what do we have? We have AP equals to PD. And just write multiply by P inverse. So AP, P inverse, it's PD, P inverse. And this is the identity. So A equals to PDP inverse. So this is why, you know, when we diagonalize, we have PDP inverse. And now I'm almost there to the analogy, but let me now explain you something. I'm claiming that, in fact, if A, A equals to PDP inverse, then A is like D. Or in math terms, you call it similar. A is similar to D. And let me first explain it to you with a diagram. But by the way, this is why it's called diagonalization, because we're essentially saying that A is like a diagonal matrix. So mathematically, we are turning a matrix into a diagonal matrix. And so, first of all, this we can rewrite a little bit. So multiply by P inverse. So you get P inverse A is P inverse D, P inverse. This is the identity. So we get P inverse A equals to DP inverse. And now multiply both sides by P, and we get P inverse AP, that's D. This is, by the way, called conjugation by P. So we do have our tenses, our tenses and our tensors. 
Okay, and I'm claiming that this sort of shows why A is similar to D. And what does that mean? So suppose you start with the location one. And in math, you read stuff from right to left, like for C. So first you apply P, and then you apply A, and then you undo it by applying P inverse. And we, are, and we arrive at some other location too. And so this whole process, it's called P inverse AP. On the other hand, we know that this equals to D. So this whole thing, it's, this whole thing is like D. And so in particular, if, um, if you ignore the vertical things here, P and P inverse, which are invertible anyway, so it doesn't really matter, then in fact, you get A equals to D. And that's why I say claiming that A is similar to D. All right, suppose you're not convinced. Okay, and again, it wasn't really the best explanation, but now let me tell you the Legend of Zelda analogy. And this is really cool because when I was younger, you know, I played lots of video games and my parents were like, ah, stop playing video games, they make you very dumb. But turns out, because of video games, I can do this analogy, so you know, not all is lost. And in particular, I remember a couple of years ago, okay, like 10 years ago, something like that, I was playing uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and there's this very annoying transformation you have to do. Suppose you want to teleport yourself from Hyrule to Cocorico. And suppose you link, okay? And yes, link, apparently people told me it's link, but I swear in the German version at some point, they're like yelling link. So it's either link in German or they made a mistake there. Okay, so suppose you link and you want to teleport yourself from Hyrule to Cocorico. Then there's this annoying transformation. You first transform yourself into a wolf. Well, okay, big bad wolf, okay. And then you teleport yourself as a wolf. And, ah, I'm still a wolf, okay. And then you teleport yourself back into a link. Okay. So this whole transformation, or this whole teleportation, can be described as transforming yourself into a wolf, teleporting yourself as a wolf, and then transforming yourself back. Which in this case is P inverse AP. Okay. On the other hand, you can just think of it, well, in the end, all you're doing is you're teleporting yourself from link to link, from Hyrule to Cocorico. Well, that is just D. And what I'm claiming is, it's in fact the same process. Teleporting yourself as a wolf is the same thing as teleporting yourself as link. And that's why in terms of matrices, you know, the matrix A is like the matrix D. And that's why they're called similar matrices. So from now on, for diagonalization, just think of it as you know, similar matrices. They're like diagonal matrices. All right, so if you like this analogy and want to see more cool math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.